Hey everyone and welcome back. Mr. Steve here with Mr. Kevin. Let's get moving. We are going to work our bridges for one minute and then without pause, we'll work our standing shrimp again just to get, get moving. Echo, play. All right, bridging. You know what to do, one minute, let's go. from our guard from bottom, uh, from top actually last time. So we're gonna go back to bottom and talk about some uh, fundamental attacks, some core attacks, right? So number one, we have to be able to, to break our partner's posture. If I can't break their posture, I do like to immediately get to that uh, collar and sleeve leg framing position where I'm here and I can't pull them down I'm posting, getting my legs to the inside, right? And then using the, the space to, to either stand up or sweep. Um, at the same time, I do want to break them down. I try to break them down. And I do so by, uh, well, there's a couple ways. The first way is generally to try to get my hands on the inside. Now remember, my legs are, are together. They're not burning energy squeezing, but they're, they're tight. And I can always extend and I can pull. And I'm gonna uh, lift my hips up as I lift my hands to create separation between his hands and my, my ribs. So it's this way here. What? And then once my hips reach their apex, the, the top will drop and then pull. And as they pull, my hands clear his hands. And there's different ways we can uh, con grip. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for, for his, reach for his collar and open and feet my, my right hand in, four fingers in, my thumbs on the outside, and get a good, you know, deep grip and control. And then with this grip, we have so many attacks, right? The foundation would be some form of cross strangle. So if uh, my uh, partner were to turn, they would expose the other side of their neck. So often they're not going to turn at first, right? They don't want to turn. I had to be able to move myself. So whatever side I'm on, I'm gonna put my foot, my outside foot on his hip and use this foot to push. As I push to the other side, my opposite leg is gonna be curling down trying, and trying to help keep him low I don't want to strike my partner, but I'm going to pick the wedge of my hand right into the corner of his neck on over top of his uniform and grab. Once I, once I grip the outside of the lapel, I will actually let go and square back up. And as I'm squaring up, I'm all ready to work. I'm going to extend with both my, my hands so that my wrists drive into the neck as I pull with my elbows back and my knees as well. So it becomes one, 
two, three. And I'm pulling, extending and pulling. Now the same choke it works from pretty much any type of guard where my opponent's in front of me, right? If I am in that collar and sleeve position here, obviously if he's really fighting to lean back, I wouldn't have the opportunity. But if he gives me any pressure forward at all, absolutely can work the same choke. So we're gonna work on the, the, the strangle, no resistance, just one minute, moving in, getting control, get my finish. And then um, we're gonna work immediately right after, we'll work right into a second minute where the person on top is going to try to keep some pressure to keep you pinned. And you're gonna have the choice between still trying to stand up or getting the choke. So first minute, just the choke, no resistance. Second minute, they give a little pressure and you, you're still trying to either get up or choke. So it'll be two minutes straight. All right. First minute, just the choke. And it's by either, you know, breaking them down. Other, option, other, other things to understand is that, you know, sometimes people will you know, try to put his hands on my biceps and bring his head low. If that's the case, I just need to get my hands to the inside. I don't want to be on the outside. I need to be able to get to the inside to be able to then, you know, reach in and move. All right, one minute, just the strangle, no resistance, right into the, into the strangle or the standing base. Echo, play. And go. someone bigger than you, uh, being able to get up still is number one. If they pressure you down, being able to attack their neck is a great, important secondary option. And uh, even if you're going with someone, you know, uh, closer to your size, being able to sweep them or stand in, or uh, being able to get back up is uh, apparently important as well. So, excellent job. We still hope everyone's having fun. And we look forward to seeing everyone on the mats in real life soon. With that being said, we'll see you next time. Out of respect. <laughs>